this morning, if you got your Bible, turn with me to the book of Proverbs, chapter number 30. I'm at 29. 29. 29. chapter number 29 this, this morning. And we'll start reading. We'll read verse number 13 through verse 17. Uh, I want to be a help to somebody this morning. Proverbs chapter number 29 and verse number 13 through 17 says this. It says, The poor and the deceitful man meet together. The Lord lighteneth both their ways. The king that faithfully judgeth the poor, his throne shall be established forever. The rod and reproof give wisdom, but a child left to himself bringeth his mother to shame. When the wicked are multiplied, transgression increaseth, but the righteous shall see their fall. Correct thy son, and he shall give thee rest. Yea, he shall give delight unto thy soul. Father God, Lord, I thank you for your word. I thank you for each one that's here this morning. Lord, we uh, ask you this morning that you'd give a special blessing to each mother that's here this morning. I thank you for my mother. Lord, I thank you for the mother church. Lord, I thank you for my wife, and I thank you for each one that's here this morning. Now, Lord, you know I don't want to preach this, Lord. I'd rather uh, preach something else this morning, Lord. But I ask you to give a message, Lord. It'll be a help and a strength to somebody today. And, Lord, I pray, Lord, and ask you to help me to say or do something that might help somebody <coughs> to see their need of salvation. Lord, please forgive me where I failed you and come short of the glory of God. Have your way in all that we do. Lord, I love you and I need you. In the name of Jesus, amen. You may be seated this morning, and I want you to take a look there in that 15th verse uh, uh, this morning. Uh, Lord, they did this on my heart, uh, and I said, Lord, I don't want to preach that. Uh, I'd rather just preach something else, but this just kept coming back to me, uh, and so I'm going to try my best to give you what the Lord's given me. That 15th verse, it says, But a child left to himself, bringeth his mother to shame today. And, uh, you know, in this day and time, it, it, it seems as if uh, the, the, the family has been broken up. It seems, and, uh, and, and you can look in some organizations uh, and, and a part of their motto or a part of their creed uh, is to break up the nuclear family today. And, and uh, they, some people believe the government uh, ought to teach our children how to, to live and do and all like that tonight. But uh, I'll say upon the authority of God's word, uh, uh, that's against God's word today, yes. pray. Uh, I, I believe today that the Bible teaches uh, one man, one woman have children, raise their children up, uh, according to the word of God today, friend. But as we look at this today, uh, I begin to think, it said, but a child left to himself bringeth his mother to shame. And I, I begin to think about uh, uh, children being left to themselves today, friend. And, uh, and, 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 and you know, I begin to think today, friend, that a uh, uh, that when a child is left by itself today, it, it has no direction today, friend. I, I, I tell you today, friend, in this day and time, it seems like uh, they let the children run wild today, friend, and then they grow up and uh, the children know everything today, friend. They uh, uh, don't respect authority uh, and, and things of that nature today, friend. But I, I'll tell you today, friend, you know what? 
uh, God put those little bundles of joy uh, uh, in, in my life and in your life for us to teach them uh, how to run today, friend, to teach them how to live and to uh, teach them how to be uh, good and productive members of society today, friend. But you know what? Uh, a child left to itself, it has no direction today, friend. Uh, I'll tell you today, friend, I'm thankful, uh, and despite some of you thinking it never happened, I'm thankful for the times that I, I mama striped my legs today, friend. I had man to God, friend, looking back on it, it wasn't uh, uh, to uh, uh, to hurt me, it wasn't to, uh, uh, just because mama was mad today, friend, but uh, listen, I, I, I got a whooping today, friend, because I, I had done wrong today, friend, and I'll tell you today, uh, they say don't whip your child and uh, and all like that today, friend. But the Bible teaches today, friend, uh, uh, and man, that if you spare the rod, then you hate your child today, friend. Uh, uh, and man, that God, listen, uh, uh, don't beat them just because you want to beat them today, friend. Uh, uh, amen to God, friend, but if they need it, uh, uh, listen, let me say this. Uh, uh, God put a bigger part uh, uh, right down below their back. Uh, uh, amen. And that's what was meant to be walked today, friend. Uh, uh, amen to God, friend, with a, a little bell or a little hickory today, friend. Uh, uh, God expects that from you children, uh, your parents today, friend. Uh, uh, don't leave your child alone. Don't just uh, put them in front of the TV. Don't just uh, uh, put them in front of a phone. Don't just uh, put them, uh, uh, amen, right there uh, all by themselves. But I'll tell you what, uh, uh, you mamas and you daddies and you uh, grandparents today, friend, uh, uh, give some guidance to them today, friend. Uh, uh, give some direction to them today, friend. Uh, I'm telling you today, friend, I remember. Amen. I, I, going over daddies and even my stepdad, I, I, I would uh, have car problems or uh, maybe when I was a little boy, I, I, we'd have car problems and I'd see uh, I'd then work on those cars. I'd see them. I, I'd take them nuts out. I'd see them take them boats out. I, amen. And I'd see them do all that. I, and you know what? I, I watched them do that. I, amen. And they some little things today. Uh, that I can do uh, uh, not just because somebody took me by the hand and said this is what you do uh, uh, amen but somebody uh, uh, did it in front of me uh, and I watched them today friend uh, uh, mamas and daddies today friend listen uh, I thought about the saying this morning uh, if there's no babies crying then the church is dying this morning uh, I'm telling you we heard them this morning uh, amen Amen, and I'm thankful for that this morning. Uh, amen, but listen, uh, I'm to be here to uh, uh, direct them, and uh, you're to be here to direct them, and, uh, and teach them the right ways today, friend. Uh, I were to teach them about Jesus uh, and how he died upon the cross, and how uh, he died for every man, every woman, and every boy, and every girl today, friend. Uh, uh, that's what we're to teach them as a church. But you know what today, friend, mamas, there ain't nothing wrong with you taking a little baby, taking a little girl, and taking them in the kitchen and putting some flour in their hands. And I'm getting some milk today, friend, and getting some Crisco and just uh, and mixing it all together and teaching them how to make biscuits today, friend. Uh, uh, listen, uh, you know what today, friend? Uh, uh, there ain't nothing wrong with you. Uh, uh, taking a little girl and a uh, hey, man saying this Sunday morning uh, and we go to church uh, and putting her little dress on today, friend. Uh, hey, man, and uh, uh, putting her little bow in their hair today, friend. Uh, hey, man to God. Uh, uh, that's something uh, we've got away from from today, friend. Amen to God. I listen. But I'll tell you today, a child left to itself. 
uh, brings his mother to shame today, friend. Uh, amen. Uh, our children need teaching today, friend. Uh, our children need direction today, friend. Uh, amen to God. And it's supposed to come uh, from the parents. You know what else? Uh, I've thought about this. Uh, a child left to itself. It don't know what to eat today, friend. Uh, amen. Think about that today. You know what? I almost kids in this day and time want to eat uh, chicken nuggets uh, and french fries uh, and pizza uh, and little Debbie cakes and uh, ice cream. But uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, they need to have a mama that says, uh, I know you need to have some green beans. Uh, I know you need to have some corn. Uh, I know you need to have uh, uh, some vegetables today, friend. Uh, I'm telling you today, friend, uh, you know what else? Uh, uh, children in this day and time, they don't know how to listen today, friend. Uh, amen. But listen, uh, uh, they need uh, to hear good things today, friend. Uh, uh, you can't pat little Susie on the back uh, for every little thing that she does. Uh, amen to God. You can't pat a uh, uh, little Johnny on the head uh, uh, for everything that he does. Uh, but you know what? Uh, there needs to be some correction in there today, friend. Uh, there needs to be some discipline in there today, friend. Uh, amen to God. You know what I thought? Uh, amen. A child left to itself today, friend. Uh, amen. They have no respect uh, for authority today, friend. Uh, you remember several years back today, friend. Uh, amen. All these BLM riots and all like that. Uh, and you know what? Uh, it was people my age and younger today, friend. Uh, that spit in the face of police officers and uh, uh, burned down buildings and all uh, like that today, friend. Uh, had no respect uh, uh, for authority today. You know what they did? Uh, uh, they brought their mother to shame today, friend. Uh, I'm telling you today, friend, uh, uh, we need uh, uh, some good godly mamas. Uh, amen. Uh, uh, we need uh, uh, some good godly uh, uh, daddies. Uh, amen. We need uh, uh, some parents uh, uh, to raise up. Uh, amen. Uh, and say this uh, is how it's going to be. Uh, uh, we're going to serve God. We're going to live for God. We're going to walk for God. We're going to do decent things. We're going to do honest things. Amen to God. I'm telling you today, you know what? Our school systems tell our children, I dream big. I dream big. But you know what today, friend? Our kids need to hear this. Work hard. Work hard to get where you want to go in life today, friend. You can sit there and have a dream all you want. But until you put some work behind it today, friend, you ain't going to amount to nothing today, friend. A child left to itself, I'm telling you you today, friend. Amen. There's all kinds of amen. Little boys got aspirations of being the next big rap star today, friend. But you know what they do? They sit in their mama's basement today, friend, watching TV and talking about all oh, this, what I'm going to do today. Do you know what today? Them fellas don't even know how to keep their britches pulled up. Let alone, hey, man. Uh, they do something in life. Uh, they need some direction today, friend. Uh, and a child left to itself today, friend, uh, will bring its mother to shame today, friend. Uh, I'm telling you today, friend, you know what else? Uh, a child left to itself don't experience love today, friend. Uh, amen to God, friend. Uh, amen. Uh, I'm telling you today, friend, listen. Uh, amen. I'm thankful today. Amen. A mama even today tells me that she loves me. But you know what today, friend? I'm telling you today, she got out and she worked to take care of me. Amen. It's hard to take care of three of 
us. Amen to God all by herself today, friend. She did. And I'm thankful for that. All parents today. Amen. I teach your kids a good work, a work ethic today, friend. Amen. I teach them that you love them today, friend. I give them direction in their life. Let me say this. Amen. Mamas, I teach you little girls what kind of boys they should like. Little girls, amen, don't you go looking at somebody I guess looks like Justin Bieber. Amen to God. You find you a little feller that comes to church today praying. You find you a little boy that loves the Lord. I find you a little boy that's saved today praying. Let me say this. I find you a little boy that loves his mama today, friend. Because if he loves her, he'll love you too today, friend. Amen to God. I don't know where this is going, but we'll wind up summers in a few minutes today. But I'm telling you today, a child left to itself, amen, ain't no good today, friend. They don't respect authority today. I'm telling you today, friend, amen. Ain't it sad today, friend? Amen. How that we treat authority. I give people treat authority in their lives this day and time today. Amen. But you know what? This out west, the authority has kind of took a back seat and said, if you want to break a window, break a window. If you want to catch a building on fire, catch a building on fire. If you want to steal from somebody, I just go steal from somebody. Somebody. We ain't going to do nothing to you today, but I'm telling you today, friend, amen to God, they steal a thing that's called a belt today, friend. They steal a thing that's called a hickory today, friend. And you know what? If you want your kids not to wind up dealing with the law all the time, use one of them things every now again and it'll help them to not have run-ins with the law today friend amen I wanted to preach salvation and hopefully we'll get there in a little bit today but I'm telling you today friend listen you know what parents I know we got busy lives I know that I, I, I tell you you know what? I had a long day yesterday. Amen. We had the food drive there at work, and, and I spent all day picking up groceries and delivering the mail, and then I got off work and uh, and had to uh, go uh, get Eli something for his mama uh, for Mother's Day. <laughs> Amen. And then Tiffany had car problems and uh, all like that today, and I was going to go uh, see my mama uh, in the nursing home. But, but, but listen, life happens today, friend. Uh, Amen to God. God, but I, I'm thankful today, amen, to God that, uh, that he gives us strength and, and knowledge as to which way to go in our lives today, friend. I'm almost teaching you little babies. You know, let me say this, amen, daddies, I get your little boy and rough him up every now and again, amen, amen, I let him fall and bust his head, amen, let him fall. Oh, and scrape his knees, but be there to help him get back up today, friend. I'm telling you today, friend, we get been too soft on our little boys, amen, and they don't want to go outside, and they don't want to play, and all like that today, friend, but it would be helpful, amen, if we teach them to shoot a gun. I said it today, friend, it'd be helpful, I to teach them to shoot a gun. It'd be <coughs> helpful how to teach them how to get out there and mow the yard today, friend. It'd be helpful, amen, how to teach them how to run a weed eater. For one, if you teach them, you won't have to do it. But there again, it would be helpful for them in the long run today, friend, to have somebody 
to teach them today, friend, mm -hmm. to teach them. That's what our kids need, is somebody to teach them. Let me say this. They need somebody living godly in front of them. Mm -hmm. Amen to God. I'll tell you today, friend, you know what? I'd be dead, but listen, he don't need to see me come in and slap his mama around all the time. Amen. Or vice versa. I'm worried about that too. Amen. <laughs> but I'm telling you today, friend, listen, he needs to see me uh, treating her with respect today, friend. He needs to see me. Uh, I'm not yelling at her. He needs to see me uh, uh, being a help. To, uh, let me say this. Uh, he needs to see me helping out around the house today, friend. Uh, you women said amen right there. Uh, amen. Uh, he needs to see me. Uh, I wash the dish. Uh, he needs to see me. Uh, I Fold some clothes. Uh, he needs to see me. Uh, I sweep the floor. Uh, he needs to see me. Uh, even though he says I can't do it. Uh, I try my hand uh, at supper uh, every now and again today, friend. He needs that. Why? Because that will be an example for him down the road. Amen. That's what he needs from me. Not just to leave him alone. Uh, here's a phone. Go look at it. Here's a TV. Go look at it today. And I'll be out here mowing. I'll be out here doing this, that, and the other day. That's what he needs. A, a, a guide. I'll tell you today, y'all know I'm not the smartest man in the, in the world today, friend. But I'll tell you today, friend, amen. I've got enough sense from the word of God, amen, to, to know that I need to teach my boy the things. I'll tell you today, you know what? I need to teach him some things that I didn't know today, friend. Amen to God. Listen, I'll tell you what, you mamas, you need to teach your little girls how to dress today, friend. I'm telling you today, friend, amen. Uh, the, uh, listen, I'm telling you today, I was driving yesterday, and there's a woman at the park. Uh, amen. It looked like she had her underwear on. Uh, amen. And she had a bra on, just out in the middle of God and everybody, just uh, jogging down the road. You don't need to do that today, friend. Uh, amen to God, friend. You don't need to do that. Amen. A women teach your babies. Amen. How to dress today, friend. Amen to God. A man, I teach you boys not to look like a slob today, friend. Amen to God, friend. Amen. They don't need. I, I'll tell you, ain't that what we do? Here, kid, just figure it out yourself. Here, kid, just do what you got to do on your own. You'll figure it out. But if I teach them the right way, that'll be one less thing they got to worry about. Amen. Let me get to where I'm going today. Here's what I want to be. Over there, Job, chapter number one, and verse number five. Says he is Job 1, verse number 5. Parents listen. Mamas listen. Job 1, verse 5. It says, And it was so when, their, when the days of their feasting were gone about that Job sent and sanctified them, rose up early in the morning, and offered burnt offerings according to the number of them all. And Job said, It may be that my sons have sinned. And curse God in their hearts. Thus did Job continually. You know what Job did? He had ten kids. He went out every day. And he offered sacrifice for them. He prayed for them today. He prayed to God on their behalf today. And that's what I'll need to be. Parents, that's what you need to be. Ah, uh, just do whatever. No. I'll tell you today, do you got a uh, concern about your little boys and your little girls, about them getting saved one day after a while? 
Amen to God. Do you got a concern about the direction that they're going to go in life today, friend? I'm telling you, Job went out and he prayed and he called out to God and he said, Lord, would you help them today, friend? You know what? A little bit later on, they're going to need that. Because I'll tell you just a few verses more, Satan sends an attack towards them. Amen. And I'll tell you today, Satan's going to send an attack towards your little people. He's going to send an attack towards your kids, your grandkids. Well, they're big and strong. They can handle it. But I'll tell you today, friend, ain't nothing like a mama and a daddy being summers in company with my people. They may be going wrong. They may be going astray. They may be going far, far away from you. But Lord, please put a hedge of protection about them. Parents, when was the last time you had that prayer for your kids? When was the last time that we had that prayer uh, for our kids around the church today, friend? When was the last time that we had that enough concern about them today? Huh? Oh, God, would you help Hazel? Huh? Oh, God, would you help Alan? Huh? Oh, God, would you help Allie? Huh? Would you help Raven? Would you help Ariel? Huh? Would you help Eli today, friend? Huh? Hey, Amen to God. Our kids, parents, your kids, amen. They need you to call out to God on their behalf today, friend. Amen, Savannah and Mason and Bella. Amen. I don't know the one inside of her today, but we'll get to her. She needs prayer. Even right now. Even right now. Lord. Hey. Lord. This, this one right here. This one that has a, a took its first breath yet. Lord, would you help it? Would you help it? Amen. God, our people, they need you. And, and, and Job saw my kids have went astray, but still yet he kept going. He kept praying. He kept praying. He kept praying. Eli, come in. I'm telling you today. Come in, brother. You know what? Every morning, I'll say, Lord, would you help him? Lord, would you save him one day after a while? And I'll say, bye, bud. I love you. But most of all, Jesus loves you. I tell you, every morning, that's what I tell him today, friend. You know what? He can wind up being a ditch digger for all I care. But I want him to be saved. I want him to get right with God. You know what today, friend? He told me that he's going to preach at the little church of Christ down the road. Amen. But then when they wasn't having service, he's come back up here. You know what? Amen to God, friend. Maybe that happens today, friend. Maybe it does today, friend. And that'll be all right with me today, friend. Amen. He might go a different doctrine than what they believe. But I'll tell you what. Other than that today, friend. If the Lord put that call in him. I asked him this morning if he was going to preach. He said, I might sing. <laughs> but I'll tell you today, friend, you know what? Amen. I remember I, I, I remember being over at a, a French Broad Church. Amen. On good old broad there in Paris, and the power of God came by. Amen. 
man, and we've been praying about having a little baby. Amen. I remember Tiffany coming up and getting on the altar and calling out to the Lord. Amen. On behalf of him today, friend. Amen. They never even know if we're going to have him or not today, friend. But listen, parents, your kids need a prayer warrior on their behalf today, friend. They need somebody calling out to God for them today, friend. You know what? That'll do more for them than you putting a thousand dollars by every check for college today. It'll do more for them than that. Amen. It'll do more for them uh, than you having a, a, a house to give them when they get older and they're uh, today free. And it'll do more for them than that. But I'm telling you today, friend, let's strive to be like Joel. Oh, God, touch my children. Oh, God, touch my children. You know what? I, I dare say Job was probably working at points in time. And maybe he couldn't make it to every little ball game. Maybe he couldn't make it to every little field trip. But you know what? When they look back, they probably said, Daddy's working for us. Daddy's taking care of us. But you know what? Also, they'd probably see him every day going to that little altar. And God, touch my children. Would you touch them, please? Would you touch them, please? You know what? There's been times, a lot of times, I'll say, Lord, I'll tell Eli it's time to go. And he'll say, well, we got to pray first, don't we? And you know what? I'll get down to pray, and he'll get down right beside of me today, friend. And I don't know if he prays or not today, <coughs> but I'll tell you what, he's right there with me as I'm praying today. Pray. Teach your kids that. Teach your people that today, friend. I'm not telling you nothing you don't know. I'm the yet one of the youngest parents you got in here today, friend. But I'm telling you today, friend, listen, our kids ain't needing them. I needing somebody just to run off and I, I stick a phone in their hand today, friend. I, I, but they're needing somebody to teach them uh, and direct them uh, and love them today, friend. Amen. Over there in 1 Samuel chapter 2, I'm trying to hush today. Amen. Uh, 2 Samuel 2 and verse number 18. Uh, listen, this is done after Hannah had prayed that the Lord would give her a child. She said, I'll lend it to the Lord. She lend it to the Lord and he was there in the temple and the Bible said, but Samuel ministered before the Lord being the child girded with a little linen ephod. Moreover, his mother made him a little coat and brought it to him from year to year when she came up with her husband to offer the yearly sacrifice. So listen, Samuel was kind of grown. And listen, she still yet, year by year, she brought a little coat to him today, friend. Listen, kids, let me say this. I love you, mama, while you're at home. But there again, love her after you're gone, too. Mm -hmm. Amen. They got to pick up your phone and call every now and again. Let me say this. Mamas, learn how to answer your phone. <laughs> <laughs> learn how to do it today. Press the green button. Amen. I'm telling you today, Fred, listen. Kids love your mamas. Mamas love your kids. And I know you do today, Fred. But listen, thank God for your mama today, Fred. Thank God for her today. Amen. Thank God for her if you got a godly daddy today, Fred. Thank God for that. I'll tell you today, Fred, but, but his mama, she brought him that coat year by year. You know what? There's probably times she said, Oh, Sammy boy's getting a little round. She probably said, Samuel's getting a little tall. I need to add a little bit more to this. I need to put more around it today, Fred. And I'll tell you today, Fred, how that, that she did that. 
And I'll tell you what, that was probably something that Samuel treasured uh, a a every year, seeing what his mom was going to bring him today. Praying. Amen to God. And, and listen, you know what? He was grown and he was in the temple today. But you know what? He had to know, I've got somebody back at the house that loves me and cares for me. And she's praying for me. You know what? I, I, I've told this and I'll tell I'm trying to hush. I ain't. But I'll tell you. Listen. I called Memo uh, several years back. Well, not even many years back. I'd go in there and Papa would be leaving to go to work. He'd say, come on, Glenn, let's pray. And he'd say, God, touch my people, touch her hurts. But then he'd begin to, he'd say, God, touch Sherlock, touch Christy, touch Kim, touch Mandy, touch Halton, touch Adam. Lord, help them today, friend. And I'll tell you, he'd go down and he'd name all his grandkids and stuff. I'll tell you what, that's two generations back from me today, friend. But he's still looking down and praying for me today, friend. That might be why he's 84 years old. He knew Adam was going to be pretty crazy sometimes uh, and get himself in some messes sometimes. Uh, and he's going to need a papa calling out to God uh, on his behalf today, friend. But you know what? Adam plans on carrying that tradition on down the line. I'll tell you today, Eli has kids, Lord, touch my boy. Touch my grandbabies. And help them. I'll tell you today, church, mamas and daddies, love your kids. Love them enough to pray for them. Love them enough to bring them to the house of God. And I tell you what, they enjoy it. They enjoy it, do they? They have here lately what I've been hearing. Amen. But I'll tell you, let me say this. And I, I'll put over there in Hebrews chapter number 13 and 5. Remember, it said a, a child left to himself uh, bring his mother shame to their friend. But I'll tell you, over here in Hebrews 13 and 5, <laughs> even if you have been left to yourself, I, I tell you today, friend, there's been some things that I didn't get taught today, friend, uh, and, and, and things like that. But Hebrews 13 and 5 says, Let your conversation be without covetous, and be content with such things as you have. For he has said, I will never leave thee, nor forsake thee. Over there in he, uh, Isaiah chapter 43 and verse 3 says, When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee, and through the rivers they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned, neither shall the flame kindle upon the earth. The flame today. Over there in Matthew 28 and 20 says, I am with you always, today, even unto the end. I'm telling you, kids, I want you to know, and, and those of you that's dealing with death in your family, I'll tell you today, friend, listen, uh, even if you've got a mother and father that's running off on you, don't care nothing about you today, Jesus said, I'll never leave thee. I'll never forsake thee. Amen to God. I want you to know there's somebody uh, that'll walk with us today, friend. There's somebody that'll live on the inside of us today, friend. They said, and his name shall be called Emmanuel. I, I mean, Christ is in us today, friend. I, I'm glad when my father and mother's forsake me, when my a father and mother have I died off today, friend. Amen. He'll be with me all the way today, friend. Our church, we ought to rejoice. And there again, we ought to teach our children. He'll never leave you. He'll never forsake you. He'll never run off on you today. Oh, if you're widowed today, friend, he's there with you today, friend. If your family I don't come and see you, He's with you today, friend. And he loves you. And he cares for you today, friend. Jesus loves you today. And I'm going to say this. And I
I'm going to hush. If you're here today and you're lost and never been saved, I want you to know that Jesus loves you. He cares for you. He died upon the cross for you. He said that he's not willing that any should perish, but that all come to repentance through Christ our Lord today. He died upon the cross for every man, every woman, every boy, every girl, for everyone that would call upon him today. Amen. The Bible says if thou shalt believe in thy heart and confess with thy mouth that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved today, friend. If you're here today and you're lost, call after Jesus. Ask him to save your soul today, friend. Ask him to, 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 to forgive you today, friend. I, amen to God, friend. Would you be saved? But here today, kids, listen to what your mama's got to say. Listen to what your daddy's got to say. They love you. And they're here to help you today. But let me say this. Mamas and daddies, if you ain't been praying for your kids, you need to get on all of them started today. Amen to God. If you ain't been teaching your children the right way to go, you need to get on an altar and start it today. Because listen, they're looking at somebody. And I'll tell you today, friend, God only knows that we don't need to let Disney teach our children how to live. God only knows that we don't need to teach Hollywood. I, I let them teach our children how to live. Listen, they'll have them not knowing whether they're a boy or a girl by this time next week today, friend. They'll have them think up is down and down is up today, friend. They'll have them thinking that right is wrong and wrong is right today, friend. But you listen, you need to teach your children this book right here today, friend. You need to teach them this right here and how to live and how to conduct themselves. And you read over there in uh, Titus chapter 2, it teaches that the younger, the, the the older women are to teach the younger women uh, how to be chaste, keepers at home, to love their husbands and things of that nature. And it teaches that the older men are to teach the younger men today, friend. I'm telling you today, friend, listen, that's how it's supposed to be. The older teaching the younger. Older teaching the younger. Older praying for the younger. And all like that today, friend. I'm telling you, church, are, are, are we doing good in man? Preacher, the Lord's come by the past several weeks, and I just don't know about it right now. I'm telling you today, friend, listen, they sometimes I need to check up with that. Am I praying for my people like I should? Am I teaching my people like I should? Amen. I'm thankful today. Amen. That he's never going to leave me, never going to forsake me. Would they come to the song this morning? I, I tell you, I, if you're lost today, friend, Jesus loves you. He cares for you. He don't want you to die and go to hell today, friend. So the Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Amen. And I tell you today, thank God for a good mom. Thank God for a good daddy. Thank God for a good caretaker today, friend. Amen to God. As we all stand as they sing, I, I, I know I, I don't like busting the air out of the balloons today, friend, but I'm telling you today, are you praying for your kids? Are you praying for your grandkids? Are you listening? Are you being taught? The right way. If there's anything in your life shouldn't be there, come get it out this morning as they